Hey guys, let's try this problem right here. Here this question is asking a 4 mm diameter and 10 cm long aluminum fin is attached to a surface. If the heat transfer coefficient is 12 watts, watts per meter square Kelvin, determine the percentage error in the rate of heat transfer from the fin when the, when the infinitely long fin assumption is used instead of adiabatic fin tip assumption. So in order to solve this problem, we have to know two things. First, we have to know the equation of long fin and also we have to know the equation of adiabatic fin. So when we have long fin, we use this equation to calculate uh, heat, heat loss rate. We, cal we use this equation that is square root of HPKAC and uh, times Tb minus T infinity, right? So this is the generic equation. Now, this is for long and for adiabatic that's different or slightly different than this that is q dot adiabatic is equal to square root of hpkc tb minus t infinity times tan hyperbolic tan hyperbolic ml right so this is the equation we use when we have adiabatic tip. Now we have these two equations and they are asking to find the percentage error, right? To find the percentage error, there's another equation that is percentage error. So here, let's look at the question first. Determine the percentage error in the rate heat transfer from the fin when the infinitely long fin assumption is used instead of adiabatic fin tip assumption. So if we have a situation like this to find the percentage error we use q dot long minus q adiabatic over q adiabatic q dot adiabatic right because here we are using long fin so we have to calculate long fin minus adiabatic over adiabatic so that's going to give us a percentage error now let's plug the equation and see what whether we can cancel something because since we have similar equation if you plug in this equation we can cancel something so here we can put q long that is HPKC times TB minus T infinity, right? TB minus T infinity minus Q dot adiabatic, that's going to be square root of HPKAC times TB minus T infinity tan hyperbolic ML, right? And we divide this one by Q dot adiabatic. Q dot adiabatic is going to be this one. So this is going to be H P K A C times T B minus T infinity times tan hyperbolic ML. Now let's cancel whatever we can cancel. So here if you notice we have this one common in these three. So we can cancel this three and this one common so we can cancel these things and we are left is 1 1 minus tan hyperbolic ml over tan hyperbolic ml and let's write that one out so percentage error is going to be equal to 1 minus tan hyperbolic ml over tan hyperbolic ml right now let's say well, let's see whether we have all the information available so 1 minus tan hyperbolic ml here we need m number and L length right length we have that's 10 centimeter so that's not a problem but M value is not provided we have to calculate right to calculate M value we should use this equation now let's get rid of this one we need this equation only to apply in this equation now since we have solved this one we don't need this one anymore right so let's get rid of this thing and let's find out M to find out M, we have to use this equation that is HP over KAC. Here H is key transfer coefficient, 
P is perimeter, K is thermal conductivity, and AC is cross-sectional area. Now, let's plug this one. So here we have a cylindrical shape, right? And when we have cylindrical shape fin, the perimeter is going to be 5D, 5D or 2 phi r. So here, since we have diameter, let's plug 5D. 5D. So let's plug H first. First we have H times 5D over K times cross sectional area is going to be area of the circle. That's going to be 5D square by 4. Right? And let's see whether we can cancel something. Here we can cancel this 5, 5 and D square and D. We are left with H over D over 4. So this 4 flips around and comes to the top. So here we have a h times 4, also we have a k right here, so k times d. So this is the equation we can use. Now let's plug the values. Heat transfer coefficient is given, that's 12, 12 times 4 divided by, divided by thermal conductivity, that is 237, and the diameter in millimeters, so this is going to be 4 times 10 to the power minus 3, right? And if you calculate this one, you should get this value 7.1156 meter minus 1, right? So this is our m value. Now we can go ahead and calculate percentage error. Now we can also simplify this one furthermore, like 1 over tan hyperbolic ml minus tan hyperbolic ml over tan hyperbolic ml so we can cancel this one and this one we just want so 1 over tan hyperbolic ml minus 1 right so if we calculate this one and subtract one from that that's going to be the percentage error now if you plug these two values now let's continue this one so we don't need this one anymore let's get rid of this Percentage error is going to be equal to 1 over tan hyperbolic ml minus 1. So here 1 over tan hyperbolic tan hyperbolic ml is going to be tan hyperbolic m value we calculated that is 7.11656 times the length. Length is 10 centimeter so this is going to be 0 0.1 meter. And if you plug all these values in calculator, and also we have to subtract one. And if you plug these values, you should get this value 0 0.6348. Now to find the percentage, we have to multiply this one by 100. So if you multiply this one by 100, so let's this is percentage error, right? So maybe we show multiplying 100 also. So let's multiply by 100. So this is going to give us 63.48 percentage and that's going to be the final answer. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.